Today I am trying the Tweezerman Pore Prep Tool. It claims to gently unclog pores. Oh, I just saw something come out in the mirror that's like three feet away from me. It has two ends. One is larger and is meant to be used on your chin, cheeks, and forehead. And the smaller end is meant to be used on your nose in harder to reach places. I have tried an electric pore scraper before, so I'm interested to see if this one is any better. To prepare, I cleansed and steamed my face. Guess we'll start on the nose because that's my most clogged spot. I'm sorry. There's stuff on here already. definitely doesn't feel amazing. I think it maybe feels a little bit less gentle than if I were to have like a mist on my face because I'm literally just rubbing it up on my dry skin, but it is pretty slippery. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Oh, I got stuff between my eyebrows, I had a feeling. So I'm actually really pleasantly surprised with the pore prep tool. My face feels cleaner and I think it looks cleaner too. I'm going to speak to dermatologist Marissa Milchak about her thoughts on the pore prep tool and the before and afters. The kind of pushing and breaking across the skin seems a little abrasive for me. Um, all of my patients will tell you that I'm a real stickler for gentle skincare. While there is probably some material pushed out, as you can see in your very satisfying video, whenever pores get squashed, they kind of release their material in all different directions. So while it's coming out on top of the skin, it's also kind of exploding underneath the skin and that causes inflammation, it can flare acne. I don't think there's a huge difference in using it on dry or wet skin. Looking at the before video, I think the most striking thing to me is the evidence of dead skin cells on top of the skin. And the main difference between the before and after videos is that that layer of, um, we call it stratum corneum, has essentially been removed and the skin has a much more smooth appearance in the second video. So I think that the main difference between the two is that that top layer has been exfoliated. In terms of actual size or content of the pores, I don't think that there's a huge difference. In general, I usually recommend a very gentle skincare routine, and this doesn't exactly fit into there. I do think that acne extractions have their time and place, although I do recommend doing that with a licensed professional.